What's up guys, Titus here with another tutorial on how to upload your League of Legends replay files from Baron Replays, LoL Replay or OP.GG to YouTube. This is a question that has been asked many times and I'm going to show you how to do that exactly. But first of let me tell you that there are many ways to do so. You can of course use any of these programs or another replay software which I don't know yet. And you can use many softwares to actually capture the replay. And then you can use a lot of different kinds of software to edit the software so and render it. So there's a lot of ways, but I'm going to show you one way only, which is basically I will open a replay file, a LoL replay file. I will record it with Open Broadcaster software, and then I'm going to show you the product. And you can already upload that to YouTube. I will not show you how to edit stuff or anything like that. But if you're using Fraps, for example, you will get a very large file out of a replay if you record your screen because Fraps produces uncompressed files so you can't really have a small lightweight file like this 20 second clip is only 90 megabyte big. If you used Fraps for this for example it would probably already be like a gigabyte or more. So yeah, that's why I'm showing you the way to do it with Open Broadcaster software because it's very fast, very easy and very efficient. Before we start with the guide let's take a look at the finished product this video because as you all know the programs I mentioned earlier lol replay baron replays and op.gg they don't produce actual video files they are just basically either storing the path where the replay is saved or the client server communication so that's not a video file like this one here so you want this how do you get it let me tell you First off, you should take a look at the guide I will link below, which is how to record your games locally and not stream them with open broadcaster software, which is a very easy guide. Basically, it tells you what settings you want to choose here. For example, you want certain bitrate, certain bitrate for audio or video. You want to, of course, choose file output only. You want to choose the frames per second, the resolution, stuff like that. Also probably some hotkeys to start the recording and stop the recording because if you don't do that it might be a little bit, you know, st stressful to get the correct position because you have to leave the replay. If you don't have war more than one monitor you also have to alt tab which is annoying. So just use these hotkeys. And there's also some other stuff which you can use for example this CRF equals. 15, which is good for local recordings, but this is uh, this is rec uh, explained in the in the guide I will link below and you just need to After applying these settings you need to set up your scenes correctly So basically you want to open your replay once then right click here and add a game capture call it for example lol and Choose it from this drop-down menu, which I can't really see yet because I haven't started the replay yet but I will do that now and show it to you again that it works so let me move that, this out of the way let me start the replay and then you will see that there is indeed the option to choose this from the drop down menu so right now it's loading already I can move it already in there again but right now it's basically capturing my whole monitor Band Q on the left I could add game capture right here lol replay for example and as you can see it's it's here now it wasn't here before so let me choose that okay and it's on top of everything now you don't see the open broadcaster software anymore so I will you know I will I will disable it right now as you can see while when I'm clicking it's placed above the LOL, uh, open broadcaster software window which I don't want because I want to show you everything so I'm going to deactivate it but this is how you do it basically and you just have to capture this start the recording you know and then stop the recording so if you're inside this replay now I will deactivate this now and once again so you can see what I'm doing here um, you wanna go to wherever that replay or the play has been made for example probably uh, yeah here it was so let's jump back a bit for example you could deactivate for example pause first you 
could uh, deactivate the interface with Alt Z or Alt Y and then play the, you know, the replay. And before you, of course, play it, you need to pull it up, open broadcaster software and start the recording, then click play, you know, then just play wherever you want to and then click pause again or just stop the recording if you have a second screen that's very, it's very useful for this procedure. And that's it basically. So if you do that, but first I will delete this source because I don't need it. If you do that, then you can just play the clip, blah, blah, blah. Pause the replay, exit the game, you don't need it anymore. And then you have the recording, which is stored, of course, wherever you want to store it, wherever you choose so in the settings. And you also, of course, the stop recording button you see right here, it turns to start recording if you click it, but I won't click it because then, the, of course, the recording will, will stop for this guide. So this changes, for example, if you click it, it will turn to start recording. If you click it again, it will turn to stop recording. And yeah, that's why you should use hotkeys too, because you don't click it. It might also lag a bit the program. But that's about it, yeah? If you do that, if you follow these steps, you will have this file. Of course, it's not called Thresh Nicely. You have to rename it. And then you can upload it or edit it. And if you want a video on how to edit it, or maybe if you are not using Open Broadcaster Software, if you're using Fraps, you get a huge file out of this. and. And you have to edit it or it's just too big to upload to YouTube or just not very efficient. And if you want to know how I do that, or if you know how to do thumbnails or other stuff, I don't know what you're interested in, then just leave a comment below and I might do a video on it if there is enough demand for it. So if you have any more questions, ask them in the comments and I will try to answer them as I can. Thanks for watching once again. Until next time, bye bye.